हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप फेको एस आई सी ट्रेनिंग इंस्टिट्यूट सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग अ केस आई हेड लाइव स्ट्रीम फ्यू डेज बैक दिस वॉज अ कंजेनेटल कैट्रैक्ट एंड आई हैव डन द सर्जरी यूजिंग विट्रेक्टोमी प्रो सो दिस इज अ सिक्स मंथ ओल्ड चाइल्ड विथ बायोलैक्टल कंजेनेटल कैट्रैक्ट एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डू लेंस एस्परेशन विथ पोस्ट्रीय कैप्सूल रेक्सिस with antivitrectomy i had planned a fecia and uh, secondary i had the age of 2 years now here i decided that instead of pccc since i am not going to implant any il at this point i'll use vitrectomy probe itself to do the posterior capsulotomy and antivitrectomy i generally use tripan blue dye in these cases though it may not be necessary but i feel that uh, maneuvering and uh, doing capsule rexis up in a stained capsule uh, is a bit easier though it's absolutely optional most important thing is to remove this tripan blue dye within 20 seconds to avoid any issues with the endothelium and it's absolutely safe we don't see any endothelial issues with tripan blue the choice which i use for this particular case is 1.8% sodium hyaluronate that's my ovd of choice we can use also 3% hyaluronate and they work excellent i am going to use the push pull technique described by dr k nischal in this case and i found this technique very useful and usually it gives the capsule rexis of desired size so i am planning here a around 5 mm capsule rexis so i made two nicks approximately 5 mm apart you can see the lenticular opacity is around 5.5 mm size so it gives kind of a guide for me to complete the capsule rexis this uh, capsule rexis in congenital cat track is tricky because of the elastic capsule and sclera is also elastic so they tend to go outward very quickly so it is important to pull centripetally this capsule rexis you can see my video on capsule rexis in congenital cataract with uh, push pull technique or with the regular technique and how you have to use the shear and tearing forces to keep the capsule rexis in check but you can see that 1.8% or 3% hyaluronate makes the job quite easy and i am going to do some hydro dissection because it is being done through small side incisions many times we have to do multiple quadrant i do dissection so as not to raise the intra ocular pressure or anterior chamber pressure too high during this procedure now i am going in with 23 gauge vitrectomy probe and uh, infusion cannula here in the anterior chamber you can see i am going to use only the vacuum in the initial part no need of cutting i am using 90 to 100 cm of uh, iop or bottle height to maintain the anterior chamber and uh, using just vacuum i am going to just aspirate the lens this is a very soft nucleus as expected in congenital cataracts so only thing we have to do is just aspirate it out just make sure that there is no cortex left in the bag little bit of tags you can just polish them out using the probe itself you can do it as you can see here and once the lens matter is out i am going to shift to vitrectomy mode and you can see the opening of the vitrectomy probe is now towards the posterior capsule i engage the posterior capsule with vacuum and start cutting i am using here bi blade mid lapse cutter of with the cut rate of 2000 which is equivalent to 4000 cut rate cut rate above 1500 is what i recommend for these cases because it pulls minimally on the vitreous and as you can see i as i made the posterior capsule opening i am trying to keep it as circular as possible and it's very easy you can see with the vitrectomy probe and then i am going to remove uh, maybe 1 to 2 mm of the anterior vitreous this uh, capsulotomy and anterior vitrectomy helps in avoiding any visual axis opacification in the post operative period now i am going to inject myocol or acetylcholine to constrict the pupil and then i'm going to do peripheral adectomy 
uh, low vacuum around 50 so that I don't cut the iris unnecessarily and just uh, give few cuts so that there is a adequate opening in the iris. Usually it bleeds in these cases. So what I do is I just inject air bubble in the anterior chamber. So it kind of keeps the bleed localized and because of the air, the clot forms very quickly. That I use 10 0 Y krill to close these uh, small incisions. It's important that we close it with suture. The advantage of 10 0 Y krill is that it dissolves. So you don't have to remove it later unlike 10 0 nylon, but sometimes it may uh, give rise to mild inflammation and granuloma formation which may need removal but uh, otherwise uh, i found using this uh, suture quite useful because we avoid another procedure under general anesthesia of course uh, whenever it is needed to examine the child in the post-operative period we may need examination under anesthesia so that's the end of the procedure nice and tight chamber 10 0 vicryl in place and this is the two month post operative picture. You can see the anterior and posterior capsule have nicely fused, no opacification at all. And uh, after two years, I'll be implanting IOL in the sulcus. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel, watch our Facebook page, facotraining.org.in, and do visit our website, facotraining.org.in. Thank you.